Good morning, folks. Going to be a banger of a show today, and we're going to earn you hitting that like button. We've got space weather, seismicity, and articles related to the ongoing reset of the Earth disaster cycle, and we begin with the X-Class solar flare from yesterday. It came from the Northern Departing Sunspot Group, a relatively impulsive event that still managed to release a CME. It was tightly coiled and not aimed at Earth, but we have definitively entered another uptick period on our star. We should be expecting continued activity here for the days ahead as the sunspot groups are charging back into the Earth-facing positions from the incoming limb, and we'll have our eyes open for more CMEs. Over the last couple of days, we have seen several CMEs leave the sun, and luckily, they have not been aimed at Earth. But we are hitting that part of the sunspot maximum, where the plasma eruptions are more and more numerous. In addition to this generalization about the sun, there's one active region I'm particularly watching as it appears severely violent in terms of its localized magnetic field activity. It might be hard to spot with the flare and coronal hole stealing some attention. The coronal hole solar wind stream is due at Earth tonight or tomorrow, by the way. But on the incoming quadrants, you can notice one active region definitively more unsettled than the others. The coronal activity here hopefully dies down today because if it doesn't, it's going to produce significant flaring activity. We'll have eyes on it. We're also seeing the continued seismic uptick. 6.9 struck the Kermadec Islands of the far northern New Zealand territory overnight. Here's to hoping those pressure releases continue to hit areas where they're just not as dangerous. On to the science, and in the journals we begin with one on the control of the solar cycle by the planets. We have seen this several times before, but each baby step forward reveals a bit more and helps confirm that the Venus, Earth, Jupiter positions are critical to determining the activity levels of the Sun. Quick note up next in Nova Astronomy, for those who have seen our videos on how Nova science is changing, another first here in the Nova world as a new class of activity is discovered in another galaxy and they still don't know Nova. Excellent bit here on how ants need Earth's geomagnetic field for orientation and foraging. This should serve as a reminder that it's not just birds, but mammals, marine creatures, plants, and yes, insects all rely on the magnetic field for life-critical processes, further hinting at the hit to the entire food chain that's coming during this ongoing geomagnetic excursion. And lastly, folks, the magnetic pole shift is already having considerable impacts on the upper atmosphere and the global magnetic condition. This one is describing a record magnetic deviation during a non-solar storm event unprecedented in 30 years of data at the Karuna station. Events like this shouldn't happen unless the planet's magnetic field is in trouble, which of course it is. Don't forget to grab your tickets to one of our remaining events in the coming weeks. Tickets are available at the link below the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. and We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.